my feelings exactly. Ah, hydralisks. <laughs> Did you see that face palm? Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing on my computer when I got blocked off. But I don't waste my aliens, I take them back to the base. I do have a starport, so I'm gonna go for a drop. F it. Hydra's coming with lings. What will will I be able to will I be able to hold it off? Just don't know. Dropship's on its way. What I would really like here are some tanks. But I don't have tanks. Of course, I didn't realize he had so many hydralisks until about five seconds ago, so... I was focusing on the Hellions, and... Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have been. Anyway, Zerg's gonna move in now. Lost my Battle.net connection while watching the replay, I don't... Know what that was all about. Anyways, here's the links. Bunkers are firing. I'm dropping at the same time, doing some damage to the drones. Plus 10 upgrade. Um, looks like I am going to lose this expansion. I finally moved this infantry out. I don't think it's going to be enough. In fact, I know it's not enough. But Hydralists have a plus 1 upgrade, and they're just doing tons of damage. Bunker's still firing. I got my guys here. Hellions go down instantly. Should have flanked with those Hellions, but I didn't. And the tank's firing. I'm taking a few out. It is not enough. Hydralists survive. Um, I think my Hellions are still in his base, messing stuff up, so at least there's that. The Hellions are actually pretty good against Hydralists. I, if I had known he was so close, I would have left the Hellions in my base and fought, but I didn't know that, so. Anyways, he's down to 14 drones, 23 SUVs. He does have 16 Hydralists, and I have one tank. But I don't panic. I don't GG. I, I realize I can still lose some buildings. I've done a lot of damage in his main. I, it's, this game is salvageable. It's just like a bunker. I'm going to try and salvage it right now. These marines overstep their bounds, but realize quickly. At this point, I realize, damn, I'm losing too many buildings. i gotta make, I got to make a stand. So, trying this. Taking out a couple hydras. Oh, no, that one. That one has like one hit point left. Damn it. So does that one. Damn it. And, yeah, I'm like, these hydralists are making me thirsty. So like the card, I say, the line must be drawn here. And I take my SCVs, and I battle with my SCVs, and they actually, with the help of this handy dandy tank, finish the job. So, he's cleared out. I lost two barracks um, and all my troops, but he lost a lot of drones, and... I don't think he was macroing. See those little boxes there on the supply depot? Those should be called noob boxes because every time you cast that, that means you didn't have enough supply depot, so you had to waste energy on that. So if you ever see a Terran player with those, you realize he's a rookie. And look at me, I have full energy now. I should be casting mules, but I'm not. Well, I have 700 minerals. It's not like a big deal right now. I guess I'm saving it for scans. I'm not going to try and justify it, but yeah. Anyways. I go to reestablish my command center and look at this jerk. There's a reason they call him Mean Bob. Because he's mean. But I do have an expansion going up with the gold minerals, so that's good. Siege tanks rip up hydralisks, by the way. Yes, sir. And uh, the, the, the plan. The plan. The stroke of genius there. Obviously, not working out for the Burrowed Hydralists. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, I think I'm. I think I. I can win this game. I don't think I'm going to win this game at this point. But I think it's possible. Cancel that factory, throw down a barracks, I guess. That's what just Three tanks up. Got the uh, command center going down the gold minerals, and I don't ignore this one for like three minutes like I did the last one, so that's good. Let's see, he's got 17 hydralisks. I got four tanks, so he's still looking pretty potent. Luckily, he's 
trying to gather up. And look at this. Look at this a-hole. He uses his Zerglings for mid-game scouting very well. That's something I need to improve in a lot is my mid-game scout. So yeah, he's going to kill those SCVs and make me really sad. He's a little rogue agent. Yeah, 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 gotta get ya, you stupid ramp, yeah, come here, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I finally decided to lift this thing, um, because I don't, I want to commit to a counter, you can see at the bottom of the mini map, I'm going to counter instead of saving this, because I think I can float this to, uh, island, not so lucky, because there is a huge clump of high bills. things aren't looking good, but, Basically, I'm going to exploit this map's disadvantage. And, uh, hey, where are you guys going? Get back here. Um, and utilize the counter, because I know his hydrolists are so far away, they're not going to be able to stop this. So, that's what I'm in the midst of doing. And that's my problem with Desert Oasis. It's this right here. What I'm doing. Tanks go down and pummel. And the Hydra is sending my base, and they're going to have free reign. But I do pull a pretty good move here in my base. Let's see if I can check this out. I actually pull a move that wins me the game. This guy obviously likes to use his Hydra lists to uh, hit floating buildings. I use the barracks to distract him that way in the meantime. Sneaky command center out the back door. That's right. So that is safe and going to go land on an island. And what are your hydrolists going to do about an island? Run? You have no main, sir. Nothing. Take out the spire because I realized spire could ruin all my plans. Then go for the hydrolist in. I love tanks, man. They're so cool. They're just as cool as they were in the first game. Tries to escape his drones. I don't think so, sweetheart. And yeah, we're gonna take take each other's mains, but Kerrigan, the Queen of Blades, should really invest in some floating building technology, because let me tell you, it saves my ass all the time. But she doesn't do that. She's not so, so smart, is she? No, her buildings don't float. Her buildings just sit there and look ugly. So yeah. This guy's got no income, he's got no drones, and I have a base on an island that he can't access. So, that's what we call in the business, a GG. He's going to fight it out to the end though, because I mean, maybe he has a drone sitting around, I don't know, I don't think he does. But he's going to try and save these uh, last two buildings in the upper right, these two extractors. But, uh, I mean, even if he does save them, I have a base going, and he doesn't even have a drone, I think. So it would just be a, a delay tactic and delay the inevitable. But here I come. Going to take out these extractors. These hydralists are racing to the top right corner. He's like, I can stop it. I can stop it, Rella. Uh, oh, no, GG. Yeah, man. That's it. So, hope you enjoyed that game. I'm the man. Desert Oasis sucks. Have a good one.